Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is a tutorial on sorted maps and the map interface in Java. Um, and if you've caught any of my previous tutorials, you'll be pleased to know that I've now got a new microphone which hopefully is a bit less hissy than the one that I used to use. So here I am in Eclipse and I've got my main method set up. And in the last tutorial, we actually looked at the hash map class. So um, let's have a hash map here again. And um, just like before, I'll, I'll make integers the key. The keys, I'll make the keys integers and I'll make the values strings just because it's simple. And I'll create a variable here, um, which I'll call hash map. And I'll set that equal to a new um, hash map like this. So I just need this again. Now the thing about hash map is it doesn't keep your keys and values in any particular type of order. And if you want to keep your keys and values in some kind of order, there are two really good choices that I know of. And the first one is um, you can use a linked hash map. So let's change this to linked hash map and I'll call the variable linked hash map. And a linked hash map is um, basically just the same as hash map, except that it has a doubly linked list connecting the entries. And that means that your keys and values stay in the same order that you add them to the map. And incidentally, if you wonder what a hash is exactly, supposing you've got a class that doesn't implement the two string method. So there's no natural string representation of this class here. And supposing you do sysout on that on an object of that class. So I'll just do new temp here like this. This value here after the um, at sign is actually the hash code. And this code is used to store things in the hash map. Um, and uh, so that's why it's called a hash code, or that's why hash map is called a hash map rather. Um, so um, yeah, so linked hash map is the same except it has a, a linked uh, list connecting the entries. And there's also a class called tree map. In fact, I'll copy this line here, which will save some time. So let's call this tree map, and I'll change this to tree map. And if you've done any um, computer science type stuff, you uh, may know that um, a tree is kind of one of the basic structures in computing. A tree sorts the values that you add to it, um, usually in the natural order. And natural order is um, a closely uh, kind of tightly defined concept in Java. Um, which we'll look at in future tutorials, but basically the natural order is um, just what you'd expect. So for integers, natural order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and for strings, the natural order is alphabetical order. And you can um, define a natural order for your own classes, but we'll get into that um, in a future tutorial. So here I've got three kinds of maps, and now I want to create a method that's just going to demonstrate the difference between the three. So I'll make this public static void test test map. And um, all the, um, the collections in the collection classes in Java are organized under various interfaces. And um, the three that spring to mind, I'm not sure if they're the only three. Well, actually, they're certainly not the only three, but perhaps the main three are uh, list, which we've seen already and in a previous tutorial, map, and um, the set interface, which we're going to look at in the next tutorial. So um, your, these maps all implement the map interface. So if you want to pass them to a, um, to a method, you can just use the type map like this. I have to also put the um, parameter types in. So I'll just call this map. And the map interface has the kind of um, all the methods you need from manipulating your map. So let's start by adding some values to this map that I'm going to pass in. I'll just do Control Shift O 
at the import again. And the most, or one of the most important methods of a map, of course, is the put method, which we saw in the in the last tutorial. So um, here, let's add in. Um, I'll put in some numbers, and I'm going to sort of make them pretty random. And and let's have just like the names of some animals here, like this. Um, and I'm going to add a few more of these, so I'll just copy this line. And I'm going to put some random values in here. So let's say 4, 8, 1, um, 0. Uh, let's have maybe 15 and 6. So just all mixed up. And I'll put some animals in here. Giraffe, swan. Um, what other kinds of animals are there? Bear and uh, snake. Okay, and I want to show you also a. Um, in the last tutorial, we looked at one way of iterating through maps. That's probably the most efficient way, but I want to show you another way here that also works pretty well too. So you can use um, a, a normal kind of for each loop to iterate through a map, um, and what you can do is you can actually iterate over the keys and then use the keys to get the values. So the keys in, the, in this map are going to be of type integer. So I declare a, a integer variable here to iterate over the values of the keys and I'll call it key. And then I'll put in a colon just like in a normal kind of for each loop in, in Java. And, um, and then I can say map.keyset to actually get the set of keys and map.keyset actually returns a um, collection called a set which um, as I think I mentioned is going to be the subject of the next tutorial but basically um, all you need to know here is that you can iterate over a set um, using these kinds of loops as you can with um, many of the collections classes so having got the key I can easily get the value and the value is a type string so I can say string value equals map.get and pass it the key and that will get me the value and then I can do sysout key um, so a plus and a colon and value like that so the point of this is now I can pass in any of these maps I could say test map um, hash map and if I run that it's um, outputting the contents of my hash map and actually it so happens that um, in this hash map the um, keys have ended up in um, numerical order which is is pretty common but it's um, it's not guaranteed so absolutely do not rely on it because um, sometimes they will come out in some sort of an order but other times they won't um, there's no guaranteed order to hash map and one, one thing I can also do here is um, in, in the collections classes, um, so you've got the kind of main interface types are list, map, and set. And um, depending on your taste, really, you might want to um, use the kind of interface type with your collection objects um, wherever you refer to them, except when you create them. And that's kind of, um, whether that's clearer or not, is kind of a matter of opinion. But um, the kind of logic behind this is that, um, say for example, you've, you open a bank account. When you open the bank account, you, you kind of maybe do some research on the bank and you find out how the bank works, what interest rates they um, offer, what kind of accounts they have, um, that kind of thing. But afterwards, you don't you don't really worry about what particular bank you're with. You just think about the interface of the bank. Um, the interface of the bank is stuff like the, the cash machines that they have, um, the counter services, um, and you expect these interface uh, the kind of interface to be kind of basically common to all banks. So it's a kind of similar thinking here. You can. When you actually create your map, you've got to worry about, or your collection, you've got to worry about what particular kind 
the class it is and whether it fits your purpose or not. But afterwards, you, um, you're just dealing with it using kind of common, in this case, map methods. So you can, um, if you want, you can forget about the exact type, hash map or whatever, afterwards and just deal with um, variables of type map. Well, that's kind of your, your choice. So hash map um, doesn't guarantee any particular order, even if it sometimes appears to be an order, which it often will. Um, whereas linked hash map, um, as I say, it maintains the order that you put things in. So if I run this, um, you can see that this order that things are coming out in um, is going to be the same as the order I put them in here. And tree map is going to sort the keys in the natural order. So if, if I run this, the tree map's going to put the keys um, all in order like this. Um, and uh, in a future tutorial, we're going to look at the concept of natural ordering a bit more and see how you can define it for your own um, classes. But um, that's enough for now. So um, the next tutorial is going to be on sets. Um, so join me again for that. I'm going to put this code on caveofprogramming.com so you can take a look at it if you want to. And um, until next time, happy coding.